Hello everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, sometimes known as Mr. Todd Howitzer Lover, but anyways, we have freed slaves from Ejercito Mexicano. After the successful annexation of the EM, we have found a population of slaves who are grateful for their freedom. <clears throat> freedom until they start working for us in a corporation. As we do not endorse or practice <clears throat> that S word right there, we offered them limited freedom. A good amount of the healthy ones were willing to join our military or corporation for freeing them. Yeah. The tool that thinks and fights. Cool. Right now we're currently at war with Imperial Mexicano. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should straight up annex the, the Republic of the Rio Grande or should we like puppet them? Now, there's more support to, for puppeting them at the time of this recording and actually I kind of wanted to puppet them. But as someone did leave in the comments below yesterday, we can't quite do that because we have to own all these places to actually get do our focus tree, which really sucks. Because like I said, I, I actually kind of wanted to puppet them, but we'll talk about more stuff. We actually get a lot of their stuff as free cores, which is okay. Uh, I kind of wanted to eventually, by the end of this campaign, uh, other people also recommended that we should like make vassals or puppets out of all enemy nations or some enemy nations that we do take over. I did want to eventually just like have all of Texas or, or you know, the Texas Arms Association own literally everything up in the north and then have Mexico as a puppet underneath us just kind of controlling and putting down Mexican resistance just so that they Mexico exists but directly under us but because I didn't know about the focus tree and that we have to basically own everything we kind of can't do that so we'll probably end up taking everything so I apologize for that secure the capital though the war is over and for better or for worse we finally vanquished the state that once inhabited these lands Preparations have been made to privatize all previous institutions and begun the long path of rebuilding this twice scarred country. I think somebody even opened up a donut shop in the Parliament Building. Ooh, is it Dunkin' Donuts? Is it Krispy Kreme? Uh, please let me know. Or is it Todd Howitzer's special donut recipe? Ooh, and we get Gloria as a core, so that's a re another reason why, because we do get a core other places around down here too. But we're currently at war with some uh, angry monarcho Mexican monarch and Mexicus Mexican Mexican blah, 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 blah. monarch. Monarcho Mexicans? Mexican monarchists. Why was that so hard for me to say? I apologize. Pronunciations. I need to go back to school and learn how to pronounce things. Oof. Alright, so actually, I'm going to separate you guys into two different groups now, just because one's motorized, one's not. We've got other comments to go through as well, just to let you know, but we'll get to them when we get to them. So, this episode, do we have any upgrades? We've got 34 thingamabobbers. By thingamabobbers, I mean command powers. Yeah, I'll get more land out attack if we can. Thank you very much, Reno. And oh, do you have another one? And this this group does have, or his one, his army does have an APC division. So, and do we have anything over here? No, we do not. Where are you all located? I'm gonna have you guys bear the brunt of the attack. So have everyone hold. And good luck. I'm gonna have you guys actually split yourselves up. So you got two, which is not very much. So I'm gonna keep you guys all down here. And I'm gonna have y'all. Just gonna stay right there or something like. Here-ish. There we go. Hopefully we can do well. I can't imagine... Ooh, we got a crown jewel. Oh, we did get Gloria, which is really, really good for this stuff. Economic trade node. How many divisions is... Oh, that's not bad for them. Obviously not good for us, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so with these guys here, you gotta go say bye-bye to them. And by bye-bye, I mean they will work in a corporation until they are bye-bye. These... Oh, not bad. Look at that. I love militia. I don't think I... I don't believe I would have ever actually said that before. But do I really love them? Maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. We'll see what happens. Ooh, please do not let them escape. There shall be no escape from Todd Howitzer. You shall proclaim your love to him like we all have. Oh, wow, you guys are fast. Holy crap, they're already down here. Of course, I think they were only over here, so that's not too bad. And we do have a few energy cells, but I'm going to let them just go ahead and just do what they need to do. Not too worried about it. You guys, we could rush in. We do get some free core, so let's see what happens. Because there's a lot of stuff over here, caravan ambush, a trade caravan delivering goods between settlements near Gloria has been brutally ambushed. Not only did the brigands hold up the Brahmin, they slaughtered everyone as well. Guards are apprehensive to accompany more caravans, and merchants do not want to lose more goods. A pursuit may save their minds, but the blood is already dried. No, we're always going to at least try. Because no one is going to ransack my caravans. I swear. You ransack my caravans, I'm going to own... Your productive capabilities for the rest of your life. We'll put it like that. Yes. There are some labor laws that might still exist here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens if we can overturn them. Alright, so what are we missing? We are missing guns. Or infantry equipment and fire teams and all the good stuff that makes us nice and wholesome. Alright, so I should probably stop attacking like crazy. But whatever. 
after this, we're going to spend some time really just concentrating on improving our situation. We'll put it like that. Uh, get to the great silo. That'd be actually really good to do. Put these heavy heavies down. That'd be good. Uh, I'll let you guys go here immediately. We have enough energy cells for now. If we take this, is it going to be enough? Well, these guys are... Oh, it is going to be enough. Great. Now, that does mean we do got to put down these guys down here. So, let's consolidate our holdings. We have some resistance, probably. We did just capitulate them. Yeah, we definitely got to consolidate ourselves right now. Uh, someone did recommend we go to War the Uni Unity of Austin, just because apparently the Texan Brotherhood will not aid them. They're in the same faction, but they don't really care for these guys. They don't care for the Unity of Austin, which is interesting to think about. We might do that. I'm heavily considering that right now. But let's just be prepared against these guys down here, too. That would be good to do. And I don't want to really go to war yet again. Just because, even though I did throw on the... Mm, ooh, tanks! The... Not tanks, but the fast war justification submod. So that way we can go to war much more quickly. I think that's actually pretty darn important to put use. So... Uh, we have that. We can start lowering the amount of... Uh, militia we use because... Eh, militia's okay. Demand... Okay. Ooh, new citizen. Yeah, let's go and grab that. That helps with resistance and more compliance, and that'd be very, very good. Uh, local recruitment agent station. We'll do that. We need to take some political power up for coring more areas. We cord Van Horn. So we cord basically all these parts of Texas that we do own currently, but there are other parts of Texas that we do need to core as well. Also, I did try to release the Republic of the Rio Grande as a puppet underneath us, but it didn't turn out so great. Um, I actually had to give them basically all of our own cord lands, and we had the Forge of Giants as and our independent portion, so that was kind of interesting. But I'm like, nah, probably not. Nah, nah. Cool. All right, so we got that there. there that's good. Anyway, there's no waterways right here. Oh, that's kind of nice. So that means a uh, big truck is going to go right here. But other comments, other comments. Let's see. Economic resurgence. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Thank you very much. We only have 200 political power outs all. Oh, bye, you Moses is gone. Is it a Texan thing to just take out Louisiana now? Or all of Texas. I guess it is. <laughs> okay. And they even navally invaded probably the cannery because... Oh, they're... No, they're probably allied. They're probably allied, actually. That's probably what's up. Long range radio is pretty nice. Let's grab some side channel tech. That's pretty bueno, I'd say, as well. And what are we going to core next? That's a good question, actually. That has one more military factory, or... We could core that. We already had this one done. Uh, I didn't give anything to the Alamo chapter because we basically sort of saved them. We gave them stuff and stuff like that. Ooh, I kind of want to core this area, even though it'd be better to core this area. But even though this stuff will all become cores eventually, let's do that one. More factories, good. Let's get some more guns. Oh man, we need so many more military factories. Well, wow. I'm not gonna take anything off here, just because I want to make sure we make enough monoplane fighters, monoplane attackers. Oh, oh, we got something here too. Let's get some resource extraction, maybe. Now nah, let's grab some industrial fertilizer. I do have a cup of coffee here. Todd's howitzer specialty. So, pretty tasty. Make you kind of energetic, I guess. A little more caffeinated. Secure the capital, though. And we get a free core. Who doesn't love free cores? I didn't realize it took 80 days, though. They get two more civilian workshops. That's not bad. Beautiful, my friends. Extend the railroad east. Infrastructure, huh? And more water. Not bad. Irrigate the fields. More monthly population. Recruitable population. Factor stability. I like that. Erect. Mm, new farmsteads. Not bad. Oh, we get cores on this stuff, too, which is good as well. You get more manpower in those places, too. Resource efficiency gain is not bad. Arms workshops. We can actually use arms workshops right now. Uh, that's not bad. We lose stability. I probably want to do that first. Oh, and then we can get the stability back over here. Free as a blue jay. Formally christened the navy. And big and bright. Mm, I love that icon. Let's go ahead and do this one down here. I want to grab the arms workshops first. Some poor digging equipment. The current state of the mining industry in the in the Rio is lacking big time. The biggest shortcoming is a complete lack of advanced mining equipment and portable generators to maintain large-scale digging operations. While we won't be cracking the planet system anytime soon, a little excavation gear can go quite a long way. Pursuit. Next time be prepared. Oh, that sucks. I got some advanced tools, though. Awesome. Awesome. Let's grab some. Oh, we can grab some of that. Anything better for planes yet? Why not? Wow! Look at that manpower. To follow somebody we don't really care about. Wow! That, oh man, that's a free core. That's a lot of people. Hmm, I love Mexico. I love Gloria. Entire expansion. Everyone's gonna work here with us, whether they like it or not. 
Let's go and train these guys too, even though we don't probably have enough infantry equipment right now, anyways. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough infantry, infantry equipment, but it's getting better. Let's get a look at this. Nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. Side channel attack. You know what? At this point, I'm feeling so good about it. Let's go start just fighting on the rest of Mexico. Zapata, you're going to come fight us anyways. Oh, yeah. It only takes 20 days. That's right. I forgot I put on the war justification sub mod, so. Um, using these guys by themselves should be okay. There goes the rockets. Bye bye, Astros. Oklahoma's on fire. Uh, anyone else on fire? New Vegas looking pretty thick. No. And what are we missing? Is it just still guns? Uh, like 133. Oh, it's going up actually. 137. Got some political power, but I want to core more states. Chieftain. You know, just get this one so we don't have to deal with it later on. Very good. Very nice. Any more? No? Okay. Well, how many divisions? They have 15 divisions here in Zapata's line. Not bad. 5,000 manpower. Okay, never mind. They have about 50 divisions. That's a lot more than I thought they did. Uh, if that's a case, I'll have you guys, like, focus, like, here-ish. Oh, they, they actually got Claw Locks there. I didn't realize that. That's pretty good for them. Oh, uh, reduce... Oh, hold on. Mm, when selected, we lower... Cons you know what? I think we can afford that. Let's... I think this is one of the few times I'll actually allow this. Because I don't want to lose more support or more political power, but... Why not? We're going to be demobilizing, but we're going to get more cores anyway, so that's fine. Whatever. Local arms manufacturing. The bigger the distance between the workshops and the mines, the smaller the profit. By opening up a few manufactories in the same stage as mining takes place, the whole process can uh, take place over a strip of land only a few kilometers long. One, two, three, four more arms workshops. Exactly what we wanted. More guns, more cars, more guns, and more guns. God, I love guns. Let's see. Oh, we have some planes right there, too. Nice. Cool. Cut you guys down in half. Boom. Uh, throw you guys over here, too. Because you're both cast, so. Boom. Make sure everyone's got a little plane that goes wee in the air. At least a little wee. You duplicate your wee and come here. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Postcode modifications. Don't mind if we do. And then we'll go to war pretty much immediately after this. Radar? Why not? Is everyone good to go? Looks so. Now they don't attack us, so we gotta be careful with what we do here. Man, robots with sombreros. I love it. Could you guys actually, like, smash them to bits there? Not bad. Not bad. We are out of guns, so I do want to be careful about this. Yeah, we're actually lack lacking a lot. Next one, people. Do we already get this one? Oh, we already got that one. Nice. Ooh, how about you guys all come here then? Can you guys actually win? Can you guys win? Oh, yeah. Go and take Klaloks Lair. That'd be good. Engine advancements are nice. Get some uh, agility, max speed. Very good. Very good. Now, they have up to 50 to 54. They've already taken out half their stuff. If we were to force the attack, could we win here? Not up here, but that's okay. Um, guys, I might recommend moving some planes over here, actually. There you go. There we go. Now we're going to start doing a little, slightly better. We are using militia, so it should be noted that we're probably going to incur a few casualties. Oh my goodness, yeah, we are. But where we're going to go, it's going to be okay. Savage gun trucks, even better. We could grab that. Let's grab white sun cars because we're using them already. So you got. Oh, you say you, 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 say you can do well. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tanks, why have I not done tanks yet? Mr. Mokulava, why? Get at least a few tankerinos. Yeah, these guys are doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Force the attack with these guys. You guys, stop killing your own men off. Militia are nice and squishy. The motorized, they're still nice and squishy, just slightly harder. Look at that. Oh, the speed. And we're still getting more uh, energy cells, kind of. Let's get some of this. Help out our uh, energy cell consumption. We are consumers of energy cells. I mean, look at that speed. Oh, yes, 7.2 kilometers per hour. And I guess we're going to kill everyone else off here first. We definitely got to get more guns, though. Mm. I need core more territory. I core all of Texas. All of it. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Zapata. Well, it's made me reinforce the idea that, you know what? Maybe we should eventually get rid of our dudes called... Oh, my mind is blanking. Militia. Militia, yeah. You know what? How about we just have nothing but vehicles fight nothing but robots? 
What if I had you guys just all stay up there? There you go. That might be better. Super Mutants versus Militia. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. They're only 10 combo with, actually. It's not bad. Hey, local arms manufacturing. I love arms workshops. Let's grab Extend the Railroad South. The first line of integrating any territory into your society is making it manageable. In lieu of more advanced systems of transport and communication, extending our rail lines to integrate with the old rail trucks ought to help make these areas administratable. Very good. So we caught this territory over here. We eventually got to core the Muddy Plains or Muti Plains. Twenty-one, twelve. We'll probably core... No, we can core this one next. That's fine. And core other parts of... Mexico, which would be actually very nice, but happy 2281. Everyone, hope you're having a great year. We are currently demobilizing, which is okay. You know, whatever it is, what it is. Everyone, just... There you go. Everyone's a militia division. Well, those who don't have vehicles, of course. Riot... Oh, we don't using rioters, eh? Combat robots, we could use you. Uh, I'm not feeling robots. If we're already using vehicles, yeah. I could... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Instead of deleting them. Is anyone at war? Hey, Apostles, would you like some robots? No. No, I can't send them to my other trouble. What's wrong with you guys? Can I send you Lend Lease? Do they have to be a war to, be, to do Lend Lease? They might have to. Oh, how about you guys up here? Oh, they're just too far away. You know what? I'll keep the rest of the robots, and we'll trade all of them away, maybe. We'll see what happens. Power Armor, we're going to keep that. I don't believe in this stuff, too. They're just too far away for us to do anything. That's so sad. Oh, did I not even justify? I might not have justified. I did not justify in Makuzumo. It's better to come out earlier than later, so. San Luis? Ah, thank you. Even though normally I like to just wait to take out Mexico. Okay, they're going to go with Carbon. That's different, okay. But, uh, I guess this time we'll focus on Mexico more, because there's just so much population down there. I love, I love the, the people of Mexico. So many people. So many people. Fire team's not looking good. We should probably fix that. Now, will these guys be able to hold out against these fellas? Okay, Texas is just trying to kill everyone. Oh, hello. There we go. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Close the door. Extend the railway, railroad south. Increase the mining quotas. The ineffective real government has tied up most of the mining industry in a variety of bleeding heart, good for workers types of regulatory nonsense. Now that we're in charge, we can do away with all those little inefficiencies and get the job done <clears throat> appropriately. Oh, I love it. Oh, actually, yeah, we're probably. We might need that infantry here. But we do have a little bit of entrenchment here, so that's not too bad. 42%. We got plenty of planes in the air as well. We do have anti tank. Before we do this, though. Actually, tank divisions, we got enough of this. Yeah, this is usually how I set up my APC tank divisions. Is there any other template better than the one I'm currently making? So it's at four tanks, battalions, and six APCs. Is there anything better? Because these guys are like five. Or these guys are four comp, but with APCs are four as well. Huh. They're both four. So this is not bad. If I were to instead do tanks and remove one of these, that's 35 compared... 238. I want more organization. Speed goes down slightly, but whatever. It's not bad, not bad. Breakthrough, it's okay. It's not great. Wait, is, these are some heavy mother truckers. Uh, piercing. I mean, we could get a lot more piercing. I think we'll be okay without the piercing. I don't want to lower armor too much. This hurts a little bit more as well. Do I, Should I throw anything on? Should I throw a, a bunch of support companies on the tanks? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm totally open with it. Probably not cam companies, but let me know how much support companies I should throw on these bad boys. We're going to use this for now, but I'm going to I will adjust this if you guys have enough think we should edit these just a little bit more. And eventually I'll probably take out all these motorized as well. We'll see what happens. Cool. Let's see if we can struggle against these guys by ourselves. Now they attack us. Oh, yes they do. Oh. And we're doing so okay in some places enough force defense. There goes carbon. How much air damage are we doing cuz I would like to get a lot of air damage here. 0.9, okay. Give it a little bit more time. It might That might have been a good idea. That might have been a god-awful idea. Regardless, we got enough guns, it looks like, though. Fire teams, not so much, but everything else looking pretty good. Uh, let's see, come over here. How much do we need? 256. 258. Alright, alright, cool. Uh, losses, 96 versus 75. Not great, but hey, it is what it is. These guys really want to come on out, so be it. 
Leon would be a very nice addition to our nation. I don't think we can really take him out, though. Wow, they threw seven divisions here? Holy cow. Come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. You guys, oh yeah. If we if we all work together, we can do pretty well. And there goes the New Canaanites. Goodbye, New Canaan. Salutations and sayonara. Alright, force the attack, everyone. Good luck. Don't try to lose too much. Man, Texas is very violent right now. So if everyone's doing this together... Wow, that's a lot of damage. 103, 85? Good lord. That's not enough. Oh, we can do it even worse. Oh, yes. I mean, better. And you know what? Even though they're struggling, that should give us more XP, right? Ooh, he's almost an urban assault specialist. Our field marshal is. Alright, so losses are going to be high. Yeah, I, I should really stop doing this. But I'm kind of enjoying it. Request loan. There you go. You can have a gift. Even though I probably shouldn't give you a gift. But think of this as a uh, loan for the future. I should probably do other stuff next time. My bad for killing off so much manpower. But at this point, we're still demobilizing. We've got 19,000. I'm feeling pretty good about this. You know what we could do with Petro Chico? We could uh, gang up on them. Oh, but maybe that won't be enough time. Radio detection? Not bad. Even better radar? How about we start employing this immediately? Oh, we already have it down there, so we don't even need to do that. Nice. Alright. Motorized boys. Yeah, motorized isn't perfect, but hey, it still works. It just works. Nice. I mean, we might, we might not be able to get them, but hey, that's okay with me. Let's, let's really kill off Mexico. So, uh, someone did say in the comments below that we gotta remember that there was Costa Cafenada down here. Who's another business owner down here? So we should really pay attention to what they were doing, but unfortunately, they're already dead. I was thinking about just like, you know what? I want to have them as a puppet. I want Costa Cafenada as a puppet, even though they're gone now. I think it'd be good to have them as a puppet business, so that eventually, since we will own them... And then we can slowly integrate their business procedures into our own corporation. But they know the area down there a little bit better than we do, so. Well, we'll release them. They'll be a subsidiary of Todd Howitzer's corporation, but uh, eventually they'll become part of us. Found mining colonies. Now that we've moved in equipment and cut down the red tape, the biggest shortage of territories is manpower. In such the same fashion as the olden days, we're going to found a, much, a few more mining settlements whose population's job is to extract old technologies and metals. Very nice. And again, we don't really have to do that. They're already are taken out. Mm, it's just probably better business to st not start a new business. Or resurrect an old one. My apologies. Yeah. It's probably not best to do that. I would, I would really like to, though. But if they were still alive, we would do that. Hey, you got more factories now. Nice. Even better cars. White legs. You know what? Let these guys struggle with each other. The more they struggle, the less struggle that we have to put up later. Boom. Advanced generators. Like, it's like advanced darkness. Standard rifle, service rifle, mark ones. Yes, please. Awesome. Oh, got all this stuff. Oh, we need to get more stability, but whatever. Beautiful. Roads in my Ancapistan. See, businesses will build the roads. You see? It just, it just, it just works. Oh, hey, NCR is going to war. Well, good luck, guys. Hope you have a good day. Have a good time. More factories. See, the private free market gives us more than what we need for <clears throat> expansion. Yeah, we'll call it expansion. Uh, I don't. I want these guys to die first. I'm not going to get involved yet. Let's watch them have fun. Besides, if we take, like, this one piece of territory from decrypted defenses, that might just be enough for these guys to, to, to declare war on us, so. Twenty thousand manpower. That's quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie, that is quite a bit. Actually, how is this war going? Uh, when do we need to go to war by June 20th? We got time. One time go on first. Uh, let's see what's going on. Six thousand. Only five thousand are dead? That's not enough. We gotta help out then. We gotta help out. All right, let's go ahead and go to war. All right, guys, good luck. Los was annexed. Force the attack through. I am not going to reject any results. Thank you, thank you, very thank you, thank you, thank you. He's becoming a desert fox. Very good. 
Oh, they're actually taking us over here, huh? Very good. Cut these guys off. Sort of. Not really yet. Nice. Founding some colonies? Yes. Mining colonies. I love it. Oh my goodness, 26,000. Free the blue jade. That'd be kind of nice. We get more daily air experience gain. Let's grab that one first just because I think that'd be good to get more air experience gain so it's easier to get things up. Research. With the fall of the Republic comes in airspace so wide and open that it would be a crime against the sky if we didn't fill it with the eager young pilots. Very nice. So we're missing a few tanks. Bulldozers, kill dozers, fire teams, eh? Is that all we really need? Uh, uh, scams with vehicles. We're doing better now, so we can afford a few more expenditures that will probably be not earn us back the money we invest into it. Grab some of that. Luxury and Business favors? Business favors, huh? Bolster production. Actually, I've never done, done this one, but I don't want to do it yet because I still want to quote more stuff. We'll do some business favors later on. I promise you that. How are we doing down here? We're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Uh, we completely abandoned this area here, which is probably not a good idea, but whatever. And the 500 is going to be falling soon. We've lost about not too many guys. We've killed off only 4,800, though, so. All right, song for the front. The Texas forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. Now, we could sell this, but we could probably play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Let's grab some war sport. We could get political power, but we already make enough political power that war sport is probably a little bit more important. So if I go to war with the Alamo chapter, will they go to war with anyone else? You know what? Let's go to war with these guys next. Let's see what happens. Can the militia stand up to the unity of Austin? Now that is a battle I would like to see very, very much. Now you guys, um... Hey, House of Taco Petro Chico. Good job, everyone. Good job. All right, you can have all this stuff, and we'll claim everything else. Thanks, Sheer. I think we just, it just, we just kind of deserve this. Now that, that might make that might might make Chichen Itza want to come and do some dirty things to us that we don't, we won't appreciate. But we'll see what happens. We'll leave you guys down here to uh, make sure nothing bad happens. Then again, we're going to need a few more guys for this. It's alright. That's alright. Um, I'm actually going to take some of you guys off. But really, half you guys are actually going to come over here, too. It's really a bad way of doing it, stuff like this. Two, three, four. Come here. Come here just in case. Uh, my bad. You gotta do it like that. And then we'll get like, that's two tiles, so one, two, three, four. You guys will defend that area. Oh gosh dang it. My bad. This is a really dumb way for me doing this. There you go. There you go. So you guys can head on back up north and do whatever we need to do, just in case people try to naval invade us have a bad time with us, touch us in areas that we don't like to be touched about, we're not going to talk about that, but, uh, yeah, well, let's go to that one. Nah, 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 let's grab this. CQC training. After this hour, we need a lot more of this. Do we have any more of that, too? Good. Actually, since you guys are here, here, put on some resistance, there you go. And then, uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm actually using, using you guys. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. All right. We should probably stop training these guys. Probably. Maybe not. Monoplan finders. Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh, God. Some planes. Or really some bombers, gliders, whatever we call them. Kind of garbage. There you go. Alright, so there's going to be enough divisions to help hold out. We probably have enough. Uh, let's have you guys just kind of come to the capital just in case. And the next one we're going to core is probably this territory. Yeah. 
That'd be pretty good. How we are how are we already 29 minutes into this video? I just don't understand sometimes. I really don't. Big bubble shack dipping her toes into the profits of the big shack has lured some extra sharks for nibble. Many shacks were built, too many to sell to the non-existent candle mark makers in the fact. In fact, all these new luxury shocks now doing own value. Maybe we could have prevented this if we acted earlier. I loved bubbles as a child, but whatever. 2020? Man, what a what a crazy number. What a crazy year. Oh, we need 300. Holy crap. That's quite a bit. Ground air defenses, huh? It's not bad. Every own state that we can do that later on. Ooh, building slots. Research better designs. Alright. Formal stuff. More naval XP. That's okay. Uh, oh, we get. Oh, we actually, core more stuff. Let's go do that one. Well, I want to at least get more daily naval XP. Though we may very well have had some shipbuilding capacity in the past, we never had the capacity to build and maintain our own formal navy. With our newfound con control of both states of the Rio Grande, now is the perfect time to set off to a fleet that can protect shipping in the Gulf. I love shipping stuff. Alright, y'all almost there. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Who cares about our organization? Even though they're actually missing quite a bit, few things there. Probably just guns. Just in case, we're going to do this again. It's only takes 10 days. Whatever. Yeah, we're going to need more stuff. I love the factories, but we're going to need more. Better radar? Uh, at this point, it doesn't even matter if we let time go on. We'll, we'll probably do fine anyways. Let's get some. Uh, let's grab this. Less supply, that'd be good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Screw it, let's go to war anyways. Now someone said that the Rep Provisional Republic of Texas won't, won't join them in the war. I hope they're right. Because now I need you guys coming back down south. Hopefully we can do well over there. Alright, let's see. Can militia beat up a few muties. Maybe. I see they're entrenched. But they might just be able to do the job. Maybe, maybe not. They still got plenty of strength. Organizations. Oh, scam just drive. Great. We've got something. Old world political guide. More daily political power gains. Less subversive of activities cost. Hey, not bad. Not bad overall. Then again, I don't really need to change much here anymore. We pretty much have everything done except military academy officers. Which we'll get to later on. Hey, not bad. Could you? Could we actually win here if we push them hard enough? We might be able to. I'm a little hesitant to press this button, so we're not going to yet. Okay, they... You're being very violent, Chichen Itza. Very violent. Hey, CQC training, not bad. We'll grab that soon. Let's grab some of this. Infantry, which includes... Militia? Yes, it does. Alright, so we've lost about 67 guys versus 67. That's not very good, I'll be honest. You gonna attack me here, son? Can you actually win by yourself? You might actually be able to. Volatile fuels? That's alright. More reliability? Don't mind if we do. Oh, oh, now they're attacking us. Oh boy. 27, 28, 33, 30. Oh, new, 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 new. Someone got over here, too. Um, help defend. Now, they want to attack. That's fine with me. Attacking super mutants is not super easy. But, oh, they don't have that much man, super mutant power. Manpower, whatever we, whatever we want to call it. If they want to drain themselves on the line. Oh, we are draining our own strength here, though, too. Not really ideal. Alright, you son of a gun. You want to take that towel? Oh, yo, dead cold body. What if we force the attack? Or just go ahead and did this? We're going to be causing so many casualties on both sides, hopefully. But they're going to be running out of manpower, which is a good thing. Right? Who dares wins? Hopefully it's dropping. How's the air power going over here? Well, it's going well in areas that we have it. Not going so well in other areas that we don't have it. Um... Oh, we don't have enough. We're going to be racking up a lot of dead. Wow, I'm sorry we're losing this many guys. But it's it's mostly the uh, <clears throat> the voluntary workers that signed up for this that are not living anymore. We'll put it like that. The voluntary workers, yeah. And then we always find more somehow. Some way, somehow, we always find more. Yeah, that's 1,500. Eh, they're still losing more than us, which is good. And 
are they are they manually just flying on us? Like, what's going on with Chichen Itza? I'm kind of expecting an attack more, more quickly than this, but... They have about a thousand left, 119 divisions. They're oh, in two days. So they have had two days. Let's go ahead and extend the railroad east. The first part of in integrating any territory into your society is making it manageable. In lieu of more advanced systems of transport and communication, extending our rail lines to integrate with the old rail tracks ought to help make sure these areas are more administratable. Which sounds very similar to the last one we just did. So you guys go and stop attacking. You guys go and hold. Now they're going to go to war with us, probably. And they are slowly trying to come in here. But if we cut off this many of the enemy, they can keep this up. Right? And they still have some manpower, but let's see what happens. Oh, now they're breaking over there. God dang it. Mm. Well, I'm calling you guys back up then. Who dares wins? Great, let's shorten the line just a wee bit. That'll be good. You're going to be expanding over here. So be it. Whatever. Cyphers, cool. Super mutants, man. No, not even once. You want to really break my ranks, huh? We'll break your old head, I guess. So glad we got those guys. They're not going to war with us yet, so we'll probably go to war with them after this, unless they're really struggling against other enemies. Alright. You really want that tile, don't you? Oh. What the heck? This is the first time this has ever happened. Hangdogs won? Whoa! That is different. What's going on? There's a lot of lag. It's Kaiser, he's falling apart. Okay. Goodbye, Kaiser. Well, I guess that's quite appropriate for us, I guess, technically. Seeing as, uh... Oh, this, this, is, this really sucks over here. Right, if that's the case, I'm, we're going to go full attack. Full attack mode. It doesn't matter. You're going to go, 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 go. Since we don't, go, don't got extra guys to spare right now. So, we got to drain them of all their manpower. Even though they don't take a... They're out of, already out of manpower. That's good. Oh, and the southern portion is doing really, really well. Everything else, not so much. You guys force the attack as well. All right, so you're gonna come to San Marcos, which I've been in San Marcos before. I think I had Church's Chicken down there when I was in San Marcos. There you go. Yeah, Super Mutants, not easy to kill, but they don't have a lot of organization, which really limits their ability to do stuff. I mean, you can keep trying to do stuff, guys. Oh, San Saba, huh? I apologize once again for these high casualties. Every soldier that we use on the field will be replaced eventually. Eventually. So. And this gives us more army XP, so. If anything, if you just take this one tile here, you cut all these guys off. And you should be able to do so. There you go. Or we just take that tile, too. That could work. Oh, we got, they got Austin back, huh? Well, that's not cool. Come on, guys. How are they not dead yet? Like, seriously. I know Militia sucks, and I shouldn't be attacking like this. Can't use their fox. Oh, no, no. Command power. That sucks. There you go. Kill those divisions off. That'd be nice. Come on, guys. You're not going to do anything against us? Come on. Now that's something I am not expecting. The Hangdog's going to war with the Provisional Republic of Texas. I was not expecting that. Oh, well, we irrigate the fields, though. The farms in the northwestern part of the former RRG have seen better days. Stress put upon the, them by both the war, the war and poor conditions have left the harvest less than desirable. We can mitigate some of these issues by installing and funding new irrigation channels. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, here we go. I'm going to throw you guys over here. Yes. Oh, we probably won't get some logistic companies. I'll probably put at least logistic companies on those guys. That'll be important. Oh, followed that. That'd be good. There we go. This area is pretty much done. Wrapped up. Oh, that's not cool. You get to just go over there. That's so dumb. A is clear one of the white legs. Good luck, guys. Good luck. And these guys are dying. Good, as they should. So, we lost about 5,000, probably 6,000. They've lost quite a few guys, but everything else should not be nearly as difficult as this. these early wars, usually. Anything else here? Oh, we need more money. Oh, we need Travel Scout Kit to do that one. Okay, not bad. So, y'all done? Not really. Good. Find the muties and uh, 
Put them down. Come over here. Yep, they're done. Thank goodness. My apologies for killing off all that manpower once again, but it had to be done. Cool. Let's go and grab you. Basic drill. Not bad. Nice. Alright, so at this point, we're just going to go to war with these guys as well. Militia, infantry, you're looking pretty okay. Alamo chapter, are you fighting anybody else? How long would it take for us to go to war with these guys? 55 days? Now, the Provisional Republic of Texas wins. That's going to be a massive border for us. But the heads of the Chop Chop have asked us to sponsor the scavenger party into a ruined facility nearby. They think there's a large trove of old world equipment that could allow them to develop new processes and maintain an edge on the market. In return for sponsorship, they will share the knowledge gained with us. Though so there's a chance our party is deterred or worse by facility defenses, our current equipment should be up to the challenge. A sponsorship, you say? Hope we make our money back on this. We're, we're getting the Alamo. Because what type of Texas do you really have? If you don't have the Alamo. For reals. Like, really. Well, time to put those super mutants to work. Because we don't have... Slavery's been outlawed. So, you can't say we have slavery. Indentured servitude might not be bad. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We've got about a week left for that stuff. Irrigate the fields. Have a good time with that. People really don't like us in the TAA estate. But whatever. They're trying to find state corporate secrets. I don't think so, man. All right, so we need probably 300 political power for that. That's fine. More divisions. Great. Oh, you guys. We're going to put you guys in. Yeah, we got to keep an eye on the Provisional Republic of Texas. Now, we will go to war with these guys and then the Alamo chapter, but we'll see what happens. Actually, I'm going to throw... You well, know, hmm. Additional storage is not bad. Salvage APCs might as well. Better radar. Can we get anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. Land auction, of course, is finito. Air stuff. We're kind of finito here. Let's grab some more range. That'd be good. So if we go to war with the Alamo chapter, we probably want to do this relatively quickly. So we'll put you guys right here and then cut everyone off that way. All right. Let's begin just find these guys because it probably is the perfect time for us to go to war against those other guys. You know what? We're going to help them out here. That's probably a really bad idea, actually. A really bad idea. But they should do okay, right? All right. They should, right? Yeah, actually combine them once again. I'm going to get to 100 first. There we go. Then slash them in half. There you go. Good luck with that. You should be able to hold out. If you're not, well, then we'll fire you and hire someone else. Yeah, the, we, this is the perfect time to go to war with these guys. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> they were thinking what we were thinking. All right, well, that was, I'll be honest, that's completely unexpected. Uh, as soon as I went to war with these guys... They declared war on us. What are the chances? Um, hmm. We could put our soldiers over here pretty quickly, and that actually wouldn't be bad. Well, alrighty. Alrighty, tidy. Swift revenge, huh? Diesel destroyers. Hmm. Roaring dust. Tenders of the tankers. Oh, what, 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 what's tender here? I mean, we got plenty of manpower. I ain't worried about that. Invasive capitalism. You tell me we got another business that we got to compete with? This is why we got to put these people down now. They still attacking down here? That's fine. Whatever. Get on the line, guys. And actually, since they declared war on us, their assault on the hangdog should be letting up a little bit more, but whatever. Actually, would, would y'all like some lend lease? We got plenty of guns, we got plenty of whatever you need. Except manpower. Oh, well, we got plenty of manpower, but I can't give you anything. Request on these. What do they want? They want 8,000 guns? Here's 8,000 guns. Do they want... What else we got? Do they want some ABCs? Here, here's about 1,000. Do you guys want 1,000 things of this? There you go. Don't say we never helped you. Alright, so... It looks like we might be able to general attack, but let's not do that just yet. We're going to go ahead and wait a little bit. We're going to irrigate the fields. And you all are right here. And you might be able to do well if you do a general attack. Uh, I kind of want to wait for it, so. Erect new farmsteads? Why not? Agriculture is the lifeblood of any resilient civilization. And, and like real blood, it's very profitable. It would be no trouble at all to source a little venture capital to start building new homesteads, farmers' barracks, and barns. 
or turn rollers. I think at this point we could probably be using some of this. Wasteland tanks, you might as well grab it, right? Alright, at this point, you guys, uh, we probably really do have to attack here. Um, you guys, oh, they're looking pretty thick in some areas. Don't attack here yet. You can actually help attack here, though. That'd be better. There you go. And you all, don't attack yet as well. Get our guys on the line. Once these guys spread out even more and take more casualties, that'll be good. Right, I don't think we can really wait, though. Wait, I mean. Wait, wait, wait. We can't really wait. Should not have went to war with these guys, but they can't really break our lines yet. We got more divisions, too. Alright. There you go. Throw them up here. That'll be good. Because these guys want to just come on through, but they're going to be suffering insane casualties, hopefully. And they can probably actually cut us off, which is not good, either. Alright, at this point, we got to go real ham here. Nothing like... Not turkey. we got to go ham. You guys go here. Cut them off and circle destroy. You know the good stuff. Hey, you guys actually made it over here with the tanks. Help them out. Everyone, it's it's time to go. It's time to do a lot of damage all over the place. And actually, if they're all going at the same time, then they all get the air benefit. Or, or all their planes benefits. Mm -hmm. 530. Uh, not enough dead yet. Not enough dead. We've only killed 2,000. We need more. Now, this is making me a little, a little worried. Just a wee bit. But we're doing pretty okay, I'd say. Pretty okay. Not great in some areas. It is what it is. Gunslinger play... Who needs defense? More attack. What about you all? Eh, that stuff is okay. Mm. Well, we are using vehicles. Sneering Imperialist, attack on defense quarter. Tank, 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 tank. I could use tanks. Uh, recovery rate's not bad. Max plan. I like max planning, but let's go with tanks. I almost never use heavyweight. And we're going to be throwing a lot of tanks on here anyway, so. Alright, so these guys have got to be suffering... A big munch. A big munch? A big, big lot. A big lot. Haven't been a big lot in a little while. Oh, yeah, we're definitely pushing through. Oh, that's very nice. I didn't realize I could just go to war with this immediately. That was a big surprise to me. Huge surprise. A huge surprise. Oh, we're fighting all the way to Lone Star. Man, we're doing well. Wait, oh. Sons of Kaza versus Vulpus' Legion. Holy cow. Oh, we got in circle. Well, that ain't good. You guys keep it up, and you're going to attack until they all die. Or you die. Doesn't matter to me. Edward's Plateau, you guys come over here. Get, deploy a little... Eh, might deploy you guys a little early, maybe. We'll see what happens. Just please don't get in circle. For the love of God, do not get in circle. No, 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 no. Retreat, retreat. Oh, you guys are dumb enough to get in circle, aren't you? Do not... Oh, that was close. I'm actually going to throw you guys over here then. There you go. Just in case for now. That's the guy open there right there. That's fine. Whatever. Keep pushing him back. We've lost a thousand guys. Not bad. We killed off quite a few. Ten thousand plus. Jesus. I love it. And we're mopping up these guys down here too. Oh, no. No, you guys got encircled. God dang it. Retreat that way. Retreat that way. Do not get encircled. Oh, we might. Oh, we lost these guys probably gonna do that. That's fine. My bad. But these guys are doing so well that I'm not too worried about it. And these guys over here are fighting very well. I love the militia units down here. Now kill every single one of these sons of guns off. Every single one of them. No peace, no mercy, nothing like that. Oh, look. More uh, political power? Sure, why not? Let's do that one first. There we go. Take this, and they're all encircled, and they're gonna die. All right, new farm sets all overran, as well as we can. The water reserves in the northwest are basically untapped. Formidable aquifers are just begging to be cracked into, and with only a bit of capital, we can start extracting that sweet, sweet clear gold, oh, or resource, whatever we want to call it. You guys come over here. You guys are doing that too. Lost quite a few guys. Oh, those guys down there. How, how's our other army doing? Oh! Oh! I should have paid a little bit more attention. My bad! Alright, so everyone come back over here. Oh man, that's my fault. That is completely my fault. I should have realized that. I'm so much more focused on Texas than Mexico, so... You guys, if you in your helpfulness, can you guys actually go that way? No, everyone just come this way and snake your way up here. 
I need you guys to help stop these guys right now. Because these guys are pretty quick. I'm not going to be worried about the stuff in the north now. Because these guys are much more important to deal with or work with. Go, go, go. How are you not there yet? Go, go, go. If you get to Sanctuary, you might be able to escape, actually. Seriously, oh, come on. I know you don't have energy cells, but come on. Let's get moving. Vamanos. Hey. We're doing it. We're, we're escaping. Oh, they cut off our escape. How dare you. How dare you. Hey, get those supplies in to get them them energy cells. Oh yeah. Go ahead and retreat this way. We're banning it for now. That is fine with me. I really should not have gone to war with these guys at all. Woof. Hey. Oh man, that's a daring rescue. Oh man. Oh look, Lone Star's almost gone too. That's nice. These guys are going to pay. P A I. Pay. Alright, so most of you guys have gone up there, which is good. You're going to hold, and you're actually going to do this instead. You're going to form a front line here. And for the love of God, I hope you guys can hold out. Suppression. Oh, they're out of manpower. Oh, yeah, if you guys just do this, get on that line. They're going to take a lot of territory, that's fine. Force the attack. They can't do anything about this, so that's good. Peace conference is over. Well, bad word. That's a big old bad word, in my opinion. Alright, so we got to get all the way over here to Dallas. Who do we need to capitulate? Just the Pro Provisional Republic of Texas. Not bad. You guys saying you ain't got anything to do? I don't believe you. So we're going to finish off the Republic of Texas first. And then we're going to go help these guys down here. Because they're doing pretty well. I mean, the enemy is out of manpower, which is good and all, but still. And what do we have over here? Lone Star has been disabled. Oh, we got the thingamabob, yeah. Oh, let's make sure we do that too. Only 225 caps every month? That's not enough. Come on, guys. Keep going, keep going. Once we get Dallas, that might be enough to take these guys out. Where are you guys headed to? You guys are up here, which is nice and all, but still. You've only killed off 4,000 of them. Not bad, not great. Ooh, what else we got around here? Robotics, we already did. Vehicles, we're doing really, really well in vehicles. Uh, let's grab some more of this stuff. Some impacts would be pretty good. Don't really need them right now. That's a, that's a nice encirclement. Anyone else have upgrades? No? No? Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Like 12 divisions right there. And these guys are flooding in, but they're... I think we'll be okay. We should be okay. Who dares wins? Fighting all the way to Dallas. Taking forever. 46,000 have died. Not bad. This is weird that we're going through this way, but whatever. We need you guys to go a little faster than this, guys. Thank you very much. Richard Anderson, he's got one heck of a struggle up next. You know what? Don't even... Let them come in some more so we can kill them off even faster that way. All right, let's grab some engine overclocking. We're going to need more military factories. Because I want them to unite their lines here. Go on. Just retreat, 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 retreat. As well as we can. And... Settle native Texans with zoning complete, farmsteads built, field irrigated. It finally becomes time to settle a new generation of Texan farmers on real soil. This influx mixed with the growing infrastructure should bring the Northwest under agras. Very nice. Come on, retreat. Get out of there. You retreat as well. Even though it's not really important for you to retreat. Let them take this territory. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys. They shouldn't have that much manpower left, should they? No, they got 2,000. That's not much. So you guys. Now that's nice. Um, hmm. Good luck. That's all I'm going to say is good luck. And you guys. Good luck as well. This is such a messy way to do things. There you go. Coming from the north. Coming from the south, Dallas, we should have just attacked in the center. Hmm. Economic resurgence, how great. How are you guys holding up? You guys attacking, doing well, not doing well. What's going on? Chichen Itza, do they have any more manpower? Resist no, they do have a little bit more manpower. That's why I'm just telling them to mostly just hold for now. Hopefully they don't get encircled again. 
Come on, come on, come on. You guys are doing well. We're getting closer and closer to Dallas every day. We get just a smidgen closer. Nice. Go and throw these guys down here. They need some more support immediately. That's better. Everyone hold. Don't make too many mistakes and hold. Nice. Just hold them, hold them, hold them. As best as you possibly can. Just don't get in circle too, too much yet. We'll get the Provisional Republic of Texas done soon. Get to Dallas immediately. They're so close. They're almost done. Almost done. Ah, we did it, my friends. That was... Uh, I could give stuff to the hangdogs, but... Ooh, if we take everything, then they might go to war with us as well. They don't really deserve it, because if we didn't get involved, they would have died anyways. But hey, there's a lot more Texas than I thought we would have by now. Escape safe from Assassin City. Nice. Alright, so at this point... I'm going to throw you all on the line down here, because they, they're going to need some help. But I'm only going to use you. I'm going to put you guys up here because I don't really trust the hangdogs. I'll be honest. I really don't trust them. But I think that's enough of today's episode for now. Regardless, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish up our focus tree, beat the Chichen Itza, take out Honduras, and probably take out the rest of Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.